Good morning everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nicole and Nico. In today's video we're going to be doing a food tour throughout Ecuador. Yeah, the food is super diverse here in Ecuador, so we are going to be tasting a couple of the dishes in various parts of the country, starting in Baños. Alright, so a local friend of ours here had told us to try out this restaurant called Mestiz Art, so we can get really good like local lunches, like local Ecuadorian food. For lunch, so we're going to go try that. Okay, how cool does this look? So I got yapangachos con chorizo. So it's yapangachos with chorizo, like chorizo sausage, pork sausage. Yapangachos are like a fried potato pancake stuffed with cheese. From what we've read, they actually originated here in Ecuador and are a really common meal. And this is how they're very commonly served, like with a with some fried eggs, avocado, some tomato, and sausage. This is peanut sauce. This is, looks like an awesome, awesome meal. Hola. It looks so good. <laughs> Honestly, it's really good. It's um, it's fried really lightly. I was worried it was gonna come out, and it would seem almost like deep fried, like caked in like oil. But it's not. At all. This is super yum. Okay, I don't know why that like I don't know why the peanut sauce. They don't seem like they like I wouldn't think to put them together personally. But this is so good. There's always something cool going on about you. So we've been here a couple of weeks. We actually took Spanish lessons while we were here. So we stayed here for a little while. And we have seen so many like festivals and parties and celebrations like the one behind me. It's a very cool town. So we're not exactly sure what it is, but we know what it's made out of. We we'll figure when we put it all together, we can see if we can find a name for the entire like food. Uh, sí, I think we got fritada con cuero. The con cuero, which means it's with like leather, like this is what it translates to. She was basically pointing at like the pig skin. So we got some pieces of the meat, some pieces of the pig skin, and then you can see it's made out of, of like plantains, these beans. We found out it's actually called mote, and then also just like. Uh, a couple other beans, some onions, and salsa goodness. Basically grilled pig skin. Mm, chewy! <laughs> Ooh. Good. Porky. It's definitely pork. Very flavorful. Very interesting combination of so many different things. This is a whole meal. I thought it was going to be a snack. We've seen a lot of people that typically have these, looks like around lunchtime, so I wonder if there are like a quick lunch option. You just grab the street food and continue on your way. Plantain, split down the middle, grilled with I think mozzarella cheese inside and then put back in its husk for like a nice way to hold it. I think I might have to take multiple bites to get to the cheese, which is what I'm really here for. Let's try. Mm. Wow. Okay. Really rich. Tastes like a sweet banana. Mmm. The roastiness is a perfection. Mmm. I'm getting even more cheese. Ooh. The cheese adds like a salty flavor. The cheese is everywhere. People like eat them like, all the time. <laughs> this is a delicious midday snack. So with that, this delicious plantain, we are done our food tour here in Baños and we are gonna see you next on the coast. Good morning and welcome to the coast of Ecuador. We're in a small town called Puerto Lopez and it's like a fishing village slash vacation hotspot for many of the locals in Ecuador. Today, it's a little bit overcast, so instead of hitting the beach like we have been for the past few days, we're gonna head out and grab some local breakfast. Okay, so I got bolon, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, but bolon is like a super classic Ecuadorian breakfast, and it actually, from what we understand, originated here on the coast of Ecuador, so we really wanted to try it here. 
What it is is fried plantain, which is kind of like banana, mashed up, cheese is added to it, and it's formed into this ball and then fried again with what looks like, I think this is cheese and a, and a fried egg. It looks, it looks yummy. I've seen tons of people eating them, like when we walk past folks on the street in the mornings. <laughs> Look at that. Friendly plain, salty, mm. a little dry. I like it. I have a feeling that I'm gonna halfway through it and be like, that's kind of enough. Um, just because it's like a lot of the same flavor throughout the whole meal. But it's quite good. I see with breakfast, right? It's like you get up, you just want something gentle. This is what you have. Mm. Also, I think this is cantaloupe juice, which is so strange. I don't think I've ever had cantaloupe juice. It is actually so good. It's really refreshing. Most of the breakfast we've had here in Ecuador, when you get like the desayuno, which is like the breakfast meal, it comes with like your main dish, a fresh juice, and a coffee. This was all for $4. All right, so I got a very similar dish to Nicole. I got the tigrillo, which also originates from the Ecuadorian coast and is also a very famous uh, Ecuadorian breakfast. It is green plantain mashed up with cheese and egg, and then they sometimes add a couple different things to it. I got uh, chicharron added to it. If it kind of looks like a mixed like hash brown omelet, but instead of potatoes, you have green plantain, and then you throw an egg on top. This is very very common breakfast here in Ecuador. We've seen it lots of times. Oh, that's good. Hmm. This thing's gonna be very filling. It's a very heavy dish. It's almost kind of like hash browns, but like not as crispy. A little softer and like infused with cheese and a couple different things like the chicharron. I can't tell if it's just like a mashup between a hash brown or an omelet. I don't know which it, what it's closer to, but this is really yummy. Oh, very different from this. I thought it would taste similar. I think I can taste like the like the meat fattiness. Like it has a different a different taste to it. Ooh, that's very yummy. <laughs> The egg, like, mixed in, was really good. Okay, so Tigrillo versus Ballon. <gasps> Don't say that! I think I'm team Tigrillo. I think I am too. <laughs> Alright, we are looking for dinner. We're we'll trying some more Ecuadorian food. But it is a holiday here in Ecuador. We're not exactly sure what holiday, but it's very lively here in Puerto Rico. But cool though, it's still like bright and light and like there's just so much light. All right, well, you can't come to Puerto Lopez on the coast of Ecuador and not try the ceviche because seafood is huge here. So ceviche is a very popular dish in Latin America. Ecuadorian ceviche is apparently very different than the surrounding areas like Peruvian ceviche. Theirs is usually a bit more like soupier than like Peru or like Mexico. So I got the ceviche de mixto, which is like shrimp and fish in the, in the ceviche. It looks really good. It smells really good, and it's like you got you got the shrimp in there, you got the fish in there, and it's kind of like um almost like a lemony limey kind of broth uh, with a lot of garnishing: onions, green peppers, tomatoes, and some cucumbers. Mmm, good. It's like almost a little creamy, and it's not like it's like lukewarm. So I heard in some places you can get ceviche with like raw seafood in it. Ecuador, I think, usually cooks their seafood for their ceviche. Oh man, that is a really, really great way to try the local seafood. But that's it for now in Puerto Lopez. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in Cuenca. Hey everyone, we've made it inland to the charming town of Cuenca. Cuenca, Ecuador is one of the best places you can try traditional Ecuadorian foods. Now that it's lunchtime, we are heading over to a market nearby that has a lot of local foods. We're just gonna go in and try as many dishes as we can. Okay, so we made it to Mercado Ten de Agosto. We've noticed that a lot of the markets here are named after dates. They always are. Did you say Ten de Agosto? Did you say Ten de Agosto? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> 
So we absolutely love when they put pictures to the to the items of food because we never know what we want to eat or what we should try. But I think we're gonna try. We're hoping to find maracho at some point today. We've heard it's like a really delicious kind of desserty drink. And then Montepillo, I think, is really like classic for Cuenca. Miko's also got a dish that we gotta find for him, which is like I think a giant pig. So this totally looks like a Filipino dish called lechon. And uh, funny enough, it's actually named very similarly. It's lechon de lechon de ornado, or ornado is uh, it's, like locally known as. But it's basically like roasted pig, and it's like roasted for like four to six hours, depending on the family's recipe. It looks and smells amazing. We got the ornado, which obviously is the pork. And they also added in some papas, or some potatoes. Um, we got some skin of the pork, and then some, I believe this is like the mote beans that we've been seeing a lot of in our time here in Ecuador. And they have like a little like garnishing of like a little bit of a salad or something like that. Wow. Mm. Tastes like roasted pork. A little salty, but honestly, super delicious. I bought this plate, it's five dollars, and then she says I can buy like a five dollar plate or a six dollar plate or a seven dollar plate. So I assume that when the more more you pay, you just get like more of the meat. A lot of places here sell Ornado, and I don't, I've heard you can't go to like an Ecuadorian festival or party without seeing like a big roasted pig or Ornado like somewhere nearby. So this is the like very crispy outer layer of the Ornado, which is the pig skin basically. Oh, that was good. Okay, that was probably one of my favorite dishes in Ecuador. But that's just me as a meat lover slash Filipino. That was so good. Now we're gonna look for Nicole's lunch. I got mote pio, which is, I understand, like a very typical Ecuadorian, I think specifically Cuencan dish. It is a certain type of corn kernel, they call it mote, type of corn, mixed with scrambled egg, and then here they've topped it off with cheese. It's good. It's plain. I'm glad you brought salt and pepper. I think that would really help it. Honestly, it's really yummy. It's subtle. Like, it's just like eggs and the mote, like the corn kernels, I honestly would call them almost flavorless. Like, it feels like a good, like, filler. Um, but they honestly don't have a lot of taste in themselves. Pretty good. I see why it'd be good for breakfast when you're just getting up and don't want anything too rich. <laughs> So something we've seen all over the place and haven't actually tried yet are these nuts called tostados. I think they're like a roasted um, corn nut. And I think they're seasoned with something. We see them all over there. You can even buy them on the streets. I don't know much there. One dollar. Plus. She gave us extra. I don't know why. Cute, right? I can tell they're roasted. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, they're salty. Okay. I feel like they're like they're kind of like a sunflower seed without all the work of the sunflower seeds. They remind me of um like truly of um popcorn kernels at the bottom of your popcorn bowl, but way softer and easier to chew. Ooh. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> it's okay. This market has everything. We just keep like walking down the aisles and finding more things to try. So I think we're gonna get something called morocho. At least that's what we ordered. It's only 50 cents, and it's like a desserty drink. Oh, it's warm. Oh. Morocho is a mixture of milk, sugar, and ground white corn that is like native to, to Ecuador. Um, yeah, so hot, I guess. And look, if I dig, I get like little chunkies. My guess is that's the corn. Okay. Kind of weird to have like a chunk of corn. But other than that, it just tastes like thick, really sweet cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon milk. That's hot. Mmm. Good. It reminds me strangely of um, api. You had it in Bolivia. 
uh, in the past, and it was really good. I thought I was going to hate that. But that was also corn-based, and I think it had cinnamon and nutmeg in it. This is quite similar. Okay, that's good. I like that. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. This is what they consider as the national dish of Ecuador. This is ensaboyado. It's otherwise known as like the hangover cure for Ecuadorians. It's basically like a fish stew with, mixed with like boiled cassava and uh, pickled red onion rings. And then I guess they got some tostados that we had earlier on there as well. There's the loads of different types of ensaboyado. We saw one in Quito that looked way different than this. Just a big bowl of fish stew and onion rings. Definitely fishy. Oh wow, that's really good. Fish and onion, what an interesting mixture. Okay, maybe why they call it like the hangover cure is because it's such a blast of like very specific flavor of like fish and onion that it just like wipes away like everything else in your mouth, like the smell or the taste of like the night before everything. It just like, it's like a reset of like all your senses with just very potent soup. I really like it. Okay, well that's a wrap on eating our way through Ecuador. <laughs> Turns out, Ecuadorian food is amazing. Yeah, true, we really liked it. But if you're from here, or you like have been here, you know someone from here, and you know there's a dish that we should have tried that we missed, write it in the comments below, and we will know for the next time that either we visit, or if anybody else watching this is looking to try and see what foods to eat here, they can read through the comments too, and see what they should, uh, what they should try while they're here. Definitely, and with that, we'll leave you there.